Hi everyone, it's Darlene from Scrapping, Stampin' and Inking by Dardee. And today I would like to share with you my Wild Safari mini album. This was created with Graphic 45 Safari Adventure paper line. It measures eight and a half by eight and a half, and it has a three inch spine. In creating this album, I used two and a half packs of 12 by 12 artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations in black and neutral. I used the complete collection of the Safari Adventure. That included the 12 by 12 designer package, the 12 by 12 solids and stripes, an 8 by 8 pack, a 6 by 6 pack, packages of tags and stickers, the ephemera cards, chipboards, and I also used three packs of large magnets. The only embellishments really that I used in making this album were I used glossy accents on my tiger here. I used a brown cord um, ribbon here and I used this leaf in um, vine a ribbon that I had found on the internet and these letters from Scrabble. Okay, uh, let's get started on the front of the album. I used a front side closure which is attached by the large mag magnets that will ensure the closure. And on the front here, I just used the page that was on the 8x8, eight eight, which I thought was so attractive and worked out rather very well for me. And as you can see, the spines, I used the same leaf pattern. On the back of this album, I did something a little bit different. I'd never done this before, and I really liked it. This album will hold quite a few photos. I attached my waterfall to the back. And as you can see, it will hold four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 photos. I thought that was very nice. I loved the way that turned out. This is quite a heavy album. There are also five pages in this al album and they are very interactive pages. I have several flip style pages, both large and small pockets. Each of the five pages has a side pullout. There's many tags and journal spots, photo mats, a photo book, and as you saw, the waterfall in the back. So let's get started with a walkthrough, and I'm going to try to keep this in focus here. This album was such fun to create, all my albums. If I truly love the paper, oh my. I have a some idea when I start, but by the time I'm finished, I even surprise myself sometimes. But in this front page here, I have a bottom pocket that I put one of the chipboard pieces on and some of my vine ribbon, that's what I'll call it. And here I used the ephemera pack cards. And there are five. And they're gorgeous, the animals. 
and on the back you can either do some journaling or put a photo. I also made <clears throat> a booklet for in this one. And this will hold three four by six photos. And I have a little bit of seam binding here to help open that. Stick this in here. And you will see throughout the album that I kind of mimicked my five pages. You can see where I use stickers and back them with a the cardstock and um, use the chipboard pieces. I used the seam binding through this. Each of these will have a photo mat. You can place a photo here and on here, and then this just slides right in here. I did use a punch that sort of reminded me of the flower in this paper and um, used it on most of the five pages. This will flip up and you have room for a photo here, another photo. This is what is my tiger page. And I have these that were from the ephemera cards and I back this one. And I have a pocket here. And then I have a folded pocket here that I put a little journaling card in and made another pocket here. There's quite a few pockets. It's a very interactive photo album. And I just kind of stuck this in here. You can journal on it, put a little photo and goes in there. And like I said, most of these are very similar. And what I did here as far as the pullout, on the following page, it opens up like this as a flap and then it pulls out. And I attached some of the leaf vine ribbon there. And then this will slide in so you can see that there's quite a few spots for your uh, photos. And next page is my for my elephants. Let's see if I can hold this up a little better. Like I said, it is heavy. And this will slide out. And you could put a photo on here and here. You could use a white pen or silver or gold and do some journaling on the back. This will flip up. And you have a room for a photo here. Here is my elephant. Room for photos here. A large pocket with some of the ephemera cards. And some of them I did back. Others I left plain for journaling. And again, I have this little folded over pocket that I have an ephemera card in and a little journaling tag with some seam binding. Here I put a chipboard sticker and out of this pocket pulls another journaling card. So we had our lion and our elephant. And as we turn this over, we have our giraffe. And this opens up like this. A photo here, here, here. And at the side here, this was just a little different. We have our pullout.
this will open like I had shown you. Then we have another page here with zebras and giraffes and elephants. A place for a photo, photo here. And as you can see, I have the stickers backed and use them for holders. This will pull up. I guess this is my giraffe page. <laughs> Sorry about that. And we have our giraffe here. We have room for photos here. Again, in here, we have our ephemera cards and a photo mat with giraffes. And our large pocket, which I showed. And here we have a photo mat, another photo mat, a churnling card in this pocket, all pertaining mostly to the giraffes. And this here I left where we could stick this little thing in or another Sorry, there's so many here, here. Can stick a little photo mat or journaling card right in there. There's a pocket above it, which these will pull out. <laughs> Sorry about that, a journal card. And again, we have our side pull out. For many photos. Then we have our zebra page. And on this side I have two pockets with some ephemera cards that I may have backed and you can place photos on or journal. And in this Second pocket, there are more. And we have our zebra here, photo here, and we can just place this in here. Our pull up with our zebra and another one. Our large pocket with the photo mats and a journaling card. So as you can see, there's quite a lot of room for photos in this. And our side pocket here. And we have another little tag here. And this one here will be continued over with a side flap for this page where our birds will be. Two cards here. Opens up and we have three or four in here. And you can see how I've used that whole collection, but it was so colorful and so wonderful to work with and the animals were so pretty, so colorful. So this was left plain for some photos and these do slip in very nicely. Again, for our birds, Here and the green. Pull this up. We have this. And then all of this for photos in this pocket. We have the photo mats and an ephemeral card for photos or journaling. 
and this little pocket, another photo mat, and here, another little journaling card. And our pullout with these beautiful leaves. Aren't those colors just gorgeous? Mm. Looks like a real jungle book. <laughs> okay, the next page, we have another flip out with a pocket with some more of the ephemera cards that I had bagged and you can use for pictures or journaling. Goes into the pocket. And on the front here is just a picture. You can do some journaling there. As that opens, this side opens and we also have cards in this pocket. The ephemera cards for journaling or photos. Photos can be place there, they stuffed in the pocket, and photos here. And these are all magnetized. Like I said, I had used, I believe it was three large packs of the basic gray magnets in here. And this I thought was very nice for the back cover page. And um, just put these little tickets together and stuck them in there. These are from the ephemera pack. Some are backed, some are not. Those can go in there and made a photo mat. That all can be back there. You may also fill that with more if you would wish. This spine, I have a pocket from the pockets and tags here and um, you can just write a little note or a date or anything on that. This goes right back into the pocket. You could put a photo there. Also a photo or journaling on this and this is stuck right behind this little chipboard piece. Then the very last page I have a little bottom pocket and just one of the journaling cards for there. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I totally enjoyed making this. And like I said, this is a very heavy mini album. Um, it seems funny to call it a mini album when it's so large and so heavy and so full. But I love the way it turned out, and like I said, it will hold quite a few photos. And um, at this time, I would like to thank you for taking your time and letting me share my Wild Safari mini album with you. And I would like for you to know that I do sell my albums on eBay. I am a member of the Paper Hen House, and I go by Scrappin', Stampin', and Inkin' by Dardy, or just plain Dardy, D-A-R-D-E, -E. and that is how you will find my albums on eBay under the Paper Hen House, which is T-P-H-H, -H. and I would like if you have any questions or comments about my mini albums, if you could please leave them in the section below. And if you would care to, I would appreciate very much if you would subscribe to my YouTube, YouTube channel. At this time, again, I want to thank you. I enjoy making albums very much, and I love sharing them with everyone. And I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you and bye-bye.